Hey guys, it's Matt Pittman of Meat Church and welcome back to my outdoor kitchen. Well, turkey season is upon us, so that means it's time to start our holiday series. Today I thought I'd show you guys an alternative to that whole turkey, which is great if you're cooking for just a couple people, smoked turkey breast. So I like this recipe for a lot of reasons. A lot of people usually just cook a whole turkey. Cooking a turkey breast is great, you know, if you've got just a couple people, if you don't want to mess with carving the bigger bird. Plus, you can get this year round. I love turkey and you can get uh, this breast on the cage year round at your grocery store so you can make it at any time. First thing we're going to do, anytime I'm making poultry, I'm going to brine it in our bird bath brine. This is our most popular product in the fall, but brining for me is about imparting moisture. Uh, into the poultry, especially when you're going to smoke it. Just follow the instructions on the bag to mix it up. I do it uh, on a stove top, warm it up, let it dissolve, and then I completely cool it off before I put my turkey in it. So we've got a turkey breast here that's been brining for about four hours. So my recommendation is 45 minutes a pound for an all natural bird, which is what this is. 15 minutes a pound if it was in some sort of brine solution. I'll put it here on this pan. I normally would go rinse this off and then pat it dry, but we're making a video and I don't wanna make y'all wait. So I'm just gonna pat it dry for these purposes. So you can see this is a skin on, it's sitting here on the cage, super simple. Uh, it's the meat that my wife prefers uh, at Thanksgiving. So it's kind of a kind of a win-win. But today we're gonna season with our garlic and herb, we're going a little different. Y'all watch my turkey videos, you know I love the voodoo, you know I love gospel, you know I love honey hog. Use whatever you want, whatever type of seasoning you want. But I'm going for more of a savory turkey this time, so I'm gonna mix it up here, and I'm gonna go heavy garlic and herb. This is a delicate seasoning, so you can put a lot on it, to be honest with you. You could also do it underneath the skin. Uh, get asked that a lot. And we do that a lot with our chickens and things like that. But today we're just gonna season the outside. And then one challenge you'll run into when cooking something like this is how the heck do you keep it upright? Well, I'm not making a beer can turkey, although that would be very cool, but I'm gonna use a Traeger turkey throne to hold this up during the cook. You could use a beer can holder. That way it just stands up nice and neat. It's gonna present really well. Um, you know, if you follow me, you know that I say you eat with your eyes first, so I want things to look super pretty. Put a little bit more here on the top, and it's going to be time to cook. By the way, we used a food safe container to brine in. You can see here on the bucket. You can brine in whatever you want to brine in, a brine bag, Yeti loadout bucket, whatever you want to do. We're cooking today on a Traeger Timberline 1300 at 275 degrees. I'm using the Meat Church pellet blend, which is a perfect blend of hickory and oak. I love it on meats like this. So you obviously could cook this on you know, any, any type of cooker. I love cooking poultry on a Traeger. So I'm just gonna pick this up and put it right in the middle. And if you mess up the seasoning at all, just touch it up. All right, we're gonna let that rock and roll. The only thing I'm gonna do to it, I love to base poultry with butter. We're gonna base that a couple times during the cook with a garlic and herb butter. So we'll show you all that, but we're gonna let this cook and we'll see y'all here in just a little bit. All right guys, it's been an hour and a half. So let's check in on this turkey breast. Using my Thermapin, 130 degrees. Told you we're gonna baste a couple times. So I've I've uh, melted some butter here and I've put all sorts of herbs in it. I've got uh, garlic, basil, uh, thyme, parsley. Just continue to build those flavors and I always talk about the richness of this butter. Keep that from drying out, add some richness. I'm gonna come back and do this again here in a few minutes. Uh, we should be, you know, less than half an hour from it being done, which will put us right at two hours. It smells awesome. All 
right. I'll let that keep going. We'll check back. All right, guys, this turkey's been cooking just over two hours, and honestly, I can smell it before I even open this lid. So we baste it another time. Um, I've got heat gloves on here so I can pick this big old warm turkey breast off here. Look at that. You can see all the chunks of garlic on it that we had in that butter. And it looks awesome. I'm telling you, that smells amazing. Look at that beautiful brown color. I'm gonna eat this thing, but we know it's hot right now. Uh, we cooked it to just about 160 degrees. Uh, it'll carry over cook to 165, but I need it to cool off. So I'm gonna give this thing about 15 minutes and we're gonna come back and see how we did. Man, I am really excited about this. This is the first recipe in our holiday series that's gonna roll all the way through Christmas. And uh, it's probably gonna be pretty hard to top this, I think, but I just got this brand new Messermeister knife, uh, which is beautiful and I'm gonna put it to, to work here. So I'm just gonna take a little, little piece off the breast here so I can get some skin and big old piece of garlic. Look at that. Whew, that is juicy. Dude, that's some serious flavor right there. That is so good. I wanna eat that whole thing, but I keep telling myself, don't take big bites so you don't have to wait on me for 30 seconds, but man, brine in a turkey, key, impart that moisture, because you're gonna hit it with all that heat. Whether you use this brine, make your own brine, I highly recommend brining. You grew up eating grandma's dried old turkey out of the oven, so let's wow your family. Um, with a juicy bird, and this is packed with flavor. Again, I love this small uh, bird because this could feed a couple people. You don't have to buy a whole turkey. You know, we did it on the Traeger turkey or the chicken throne. We could have done the whole beer can thing. We could have put beer and herbs in there and seasoning. That's not what we were after, but you, you certainly could have done that. We just used it to prop this up today. Uh, but I gotta tell you, that's the first time I've used the garlic and herb on a turkey uh, and it won't be the last. So if you guys like this video, uh, please subscribe to the channel, share this out to your friends, uh, leave us a comment. Um, I'm gonna drop my gravy recipe in the description below. Uh, we've got a lot more turkey videos coming and they'll all be paired with something so you'll get a heavy dose of our gravy throughout the rest of the year. So thanks for watching y'all and I'll see y'all next week.